Hello, welcome back to my studio. I'm continuing work on this painting for my newest gallery. It's in Santa Fe. It's called Masterpiece Gallery. It's it. And the address is 102 East Water Street. And this is just, I'm really excited to be in this new gallery. It's owned by an artist that Jack and I have known for years, Chris Payne. He is an amazing sculptor. And so anyway, just, I'm super, super thrilled to be part of this gallery and they've already sold a painting and so they need a replacement, so this is it. I'm working on, I have a little basket hanging on this red gate and it's going to be filled with white daisies. First of all, the sunlight is coming in from the right, so this side of the basket is going to be darker, it's in shadow. And I first, I'm just using mixtures of my mud plus cadmium orange plus a little white. And then on the sunlit side of the basket, I make my mixes a little bit lighter. I have several shades of this, this mixture. And I just, I do the brushwork pretty rough because the basket is textured. And then up here under the flowers, there's going to be shadow. Come back with my lighter color. I use, like I say, different different proportions of that mixture to make different shades. Now I'm going to make the basket is a wicker basket, so there's you know, all the crevices of the wicker and everything. So I use a mixture of my mud plus liquid, and I'm using my mall stick. This hooks over the top of my easel, and I can just rest my hand on this to steady my hand as I make these, these indentations. And this is, again, a mixture of my mud plus liquid. bottom of the basket a little bit darker down here. Now I've got those up and down lines in there. Now I take my a little bit narrower brush and I come across with my wicker that's interwoven. And I interdigitize them. I let them go like this. And that gives the feeling of that wicker that's woven in and out. And I let that go over that dark line. And that gives the feeling of that basket. side I use a little narrower brush because since that's going back the, the lines aren't as long and on the back part I use a mixture of my ultramarine blue plus white. So again the blue goes back, warm colors come forward so and I'm just I I don't do that I do this very loosely. I'm just indicating the wicker. I don't want to just delineate each and everything. Just give that impression. There's our little basket. I'm going to make this edge just a little bit lighter since this is the leaping edge. Get a smaller brush. I just want to highlight these, this corner or edge of the basket. So that comes forward. That light hitting this just brings that forward. Doesn't need much. 
there's our basket. I'm going to also just put a little more light along the bottom of that. Now this edge back here is going back, so I'm going to use a little bit of my blue back here. And I just want this edge to kind of fade back. So I don't do a whole lot. And now here in the shadow, I just go ahead and take some of my mud and give the feeling of, again, just a few little lines across there. There's going to be leaves coming down over that, so we don't need a whole lot of detail in there. Just give a little feel of it. Now, for my flowers, I'm going to have white daisies in this basket. That white against the red is just a nice, fresh look. And I'm usually mixes of this is my ultramarine blue plus white. I'm using some of my dioxanine, blue, uh, dioxanine purple plus white. This is left over from the wisteria up above. And this makes my shadow part of the, the flowers. This is thalo blue plus white. Just give various little shadow darker colors. Sun's going to be hitting some of these. Now on this side over here, it's going to be in shadow. So we do a little bit darker in here. These flowers are going to be, the wall is casting a shadow down. We'll get some light hitting right in here. Move my wall stick over it. Just, I want a big mix of different values and shades in here. Now my white, my leaves are a mixture of phthalo blue plus cadmium orange plus white, and I just mix. I just bring some of that green in between the masses of white. Kind of help shape the flowers. This is a little mixture of just my phthalo blue plus some liquid. Gives me a nice cool dark in the depths of the flowers there. Let my little leaves come down. Also going to make me a mixture of just a darker mix of phthalo blue plus white. And that'll give me a cooler, a little cooler blue into the, the depths of the, the foliage just to bring some coolness in there. Those leaves drop down. Now here we're going to start, these leaves are going to be a little lighter because the sun's hitting the, the basket of flowers here. And then we'll get darker back up in here. I left that little white spot because I'm going to have a flower there. Now coming back, I start adding some of my flower color over this and I have to be very careful here to just lay the color on top of that green so that I don't pull that green into my white. It's very easy for your brush when you start working over a darker color with a lighter one. It's very easy to pick up that light color on your brush. Now I'm here coming in here with my pure white, which is where the sun is hitting these, these white flowers. You can see this is a square brush, but I can use the corner of the brush to get those little fine lines. Well, 
catch a little light right there. You can see how that pops against the red. Okay, now I want to put the centers in those flowers. So I'm going to use a mixture of orange plus a little bit of cadmium yellow medium for the ones in the shadow and then I'll use pure cadmium yellow medium plus a little bit of white for my centers that are in the sun. So let's get my, let's see which brush I want to use for that. Okay, that rattling you hear is I'm just pulling off tissue from the roll of tissue I have suspended from my palette. That's, I, that's one of the secrets to nice, clean, crisp color on your canvas, is having a clean brush. So these, these flowers back here, I do the centers with the darker mixture. I'm not going to answer that phone. While I'm painting, I don't answer the phone. If it's important, they will leave a message. If it's not, they won't. It just, you can waste an awful lot of time answering the phone, answering emails. While I'm working, I'm working. And as much as I love painting, it is work. It's my job. And all of my friends know that during painting time, I'm not going to answer the phone. So if they need me, they just leave a message. Okay, now we get here into the light. And I start using the lighter cadmium yellow medium. I'm going to do something here. I'm going to do a little cadmium yellow medium plus orange. Make it a little bit more intense. There we go. And then I'll come back and put some cadmium yellow medium over, over the top of that. Get my centers in there. And you can see how this all of a sudden looks like daisies. Now I'll come back with the cadmium yellow medium plus white and just add a little bit extra highlight on there. And there's our daisies. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please visit my blog. I have the link in the description below. The address is also on the final frame of my video. You can subscribe to my blog, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you will get a notification every time I post to either one of them. So I just thank you again. You have a wonderful day, and happy painting!